Hi everyone, welcome to this short session on how to find journal articles through the Virginia Tech Library System. We're going to start off by just obviously going to the library website, which is www.lib.vt.edu. On this page you'll see a couple of main categories. The first thing you want to do though if you're off campus is sign in on the off campus sign in section. It's really quick and it'll take you right back to this page. Once you get here you want to come to this blue section where it says find and we have two different ways that we can look up journal articles. The first way is through e-journals which will take you directly to a specific journal that you want to look through. While it is a great way if you're starting out with this and you don't really know what you're looking for that's not the best approach and it can be a little bit more complicated. So we're actually going to click on the second way which is just going through articles and databases. So click on that and then scroll down and you're going to see find a database alphabetically. And what we're looking for is EBSCOhost. So we're going to click on the E and then we're going to find the one that says EBSCOhost databases. And what this is is obviously as it says it's just a whole bunch of different databases that you can access to find different journal articles. So this is going to pull up and you have a whole bunch of options that you can check off. The best ones to pick for human development, psychology, for any of the human services or social sciences courses are going to be the edu Education Research Complete, Psych Articles, Psychology and the Behavioral Sciences Collection, and Psych Info. Now if you're interested in a, a lot of other fields, if you're a pre-med student for instance, you can click also on Medline and that'll take you to some more of the medical field type articles. So you can definitely look through these and find some that you think might relate more to your field. You scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on Continue, and now we're to the main search page and under this nice green bar you'll see a whole bunch of options you can use to search. I tend to stay away from this. I think it can be overwhelming and if you're not sure what you're looking for it's better to just do a general search and then go more specific as you get an idea of what you're looking for. Now the most important thing to click on though underneath that green bar is the scholarly peer-reviewed journals box because that's going to mean that you're, you're going to get some really good articles. You're going to get empirical articles meaning that they've been tested, people have reviewed them and said hey these are credible these are good studies and that's really important especially for different assignments and for different classes. So once you've done that you're gonna come up to your search option area and I'm gonna give you my example for what I'm interested in studying. I'm really into conflict resolution strategies and children. So for just starting out I'm gonna type in conflict resolution and see what comes up. I'm gonna click on search and sometimes it takes a while for it to load depending on how many results are gonna pull up and now we have the results. So this top section right here is search history and alerts and so you're gonna see I have almost 9,000 search results and that's a bit much to have to go through so if I can I'm gonna try to specify my my interest a little bit more so I don't have to sift through so many articles. So maybe this time I'll do conflict resolution and preschool since that's the age range I'm interested in. I click search again and now I only have 73 results. Much better. I can handle 73. And what you'll see here is also your search history. So if you decide that you don't find anything in the 73 and you really have a strong desire to go through 9,000 articles, then you're more than happy, you know, more than welcome to just click on view results and go back through it. So down here is where you're going to see your results. You have a couple different options of how to get the actual article. But before we do that, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what this all means. The, the text in blue is the title of the article and then you obviously have the authors underneath. Sometimes there are one, sometimes there's many authors. Then you have the journal, so this came from Behavior. It was from November 2008. You have the volume and the issue number and the page numbers. These are all very important for your APA citations that you're going to be doing later on. Now another general rule of thumb is you're going to see page numbers. 26 pages means this article is probably a really good article. If you come across something that's maybe two or three pages, chances are it's not an empirical article. It might just be a summary of a couple of articles or it might be someone just talking about recommendations for future research. And you want to make sure that you have an article that actually completed a real study. So, And, and we'll talk about that in a minute when I pull one up. So I'm going to go through and see what's interesting to me. Sometimes you'll get the immediate PDF text. Sometimes you won't. So right here, number one actually looks really interesting for me. So I'm going to click on it and see if it actually is a pretty good research study. And in this front page you're going to get the abstract. So you're going to find out basically what they did, how many students they used, and what they found in a very quick summary. So I read through it and I decide, hey, this looks pretty good. 
but there's no PDF to it, as you can see. So what I do instead is you're going to go down to VT Text, which is a great way to get articles. So I'm, I'm pretty lucky here because on step one, I have the article somewhere that I can get access to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on article. Sometimes you'll have only one option come up. Sometimes there'll be a couple different places where you can get the article. I'm going to click on it. It'll take me to another website. And these other websites are connected through Virginia Tech. So as students, we get access to them for free. And then I'm going to scroll down and basically just find where the PDF is saved, which is right here. And I'm going to save it. And then I have access to my article. Now, sometimes we're not that lucky. Sometimes there's nothing in step one. So we have to go down to step two. And if that's the case, my recommendation would be to search by ISSN or ISBN because it's a little bit easier to find exactly what you're looking for. So you click on that and it takes you to the Virginia Tech Library webpage. And what this tells me is Virginia Tech's library has this journal and they give you the call number. So basically it's available in the library. So if step one is not met and in step two, if you find that the library has it, then you can go ahead and go to the library and pick it up. Now sometimes you'll click on by ISSN or ISBN and the library won't have it. So that takes you to step three, which is through interlibrary loan. Now if you get to this point, it might be easier just to go back and find an article that's a little bit easier to, to get access to. If you're really into the article though, click on interlibrary loan. It'll take you to a new page. You simply log in to the system and it'll enter all the information for you for, for requesting an article. And what this is, is you can type in you, the date that you don't want it after. And when you click submit, it goes to our interlibrary loan office and Virginia Tech works on finding this article at another university for you. And so a lot of times they will either email the article to you or tell you that it's available to be picked up after you find it. So back to the regular page. Sorry, I'm closing all these pages out. So that's how to get it that way. If the, if the PDF is not immediately available, that's how you can access the article. However, I was scrolling through earlier and I found some that really did look interesting that already had the PDF, such as this one. And this one, I think I'm going to actually click on this one. So it has the PDF text. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to open the article right away. Typically, ones that have the PDF text are just a little bit easier because it's, it's a simple process. You don't have to go through as many steps. But if you really are interested in a specific article, you know, take a little bit more time to try to get it. So here's an example of an article just to do a quick walkthrough of the kinds of things you're looking for to know it's a good quality article. At the very beginning, you're typically going to get an abstract. This just summarizes pretty much the whole article. Beyond that, you're going to get an introduction or a literature review, which they talk about all the past work that's been done on this specific topic. And then a couple of pages down, you're going to get to a method section and this tells you who they used what they did if you see a method section somewhere in your article you have a good article that's kind of the the standard if you see a method section an introduction a result section you have an article that actually where the researchers actually did an empirical study so you scroll down here's the method section again and then you have the results section. And in this section, you have a whole bunch of numbers, and it can be kind of confusing. But that's what the discussion section is that follows this. It basically explains this in a little bit more user-friendly terms. So here's the results section. Sometimes you'll get a lot of charts and graphs and whatnot in this section. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of numbers. And then at the very end, the last section that you're looking for is a discussion section or a conclusion section. And so again, this basically summarizes what they found, the limitations, things that they could do better next time, and so on. And that ends your article, aside from the references. And that is basically how you find an article on Virginia Tech's library webpage.